I think is really empowering and I follow you extremely closely on, on Instagram and all of your social media platforms. For someone very young, 12, yeah. 13, in some part of India, feeling those feelings of, am I, am I not, why am I feeling, am I different, am I not different? To be able to see you, to be able to see Rani and say, I can be that. You know, I can be that. I can be on a billboard in Times Square. I can be in RuPaul's, you know, global race. I can be on stage. I can have people, you know, have their jaws drop to the floor when I start to sing. This is all possible for me. As opposed to 20 years ago, when they would have thought that I'm never going to be given a job. Yeah. No one will ever accept me. Uh, I will have to either beg or I will have to, I don't know, become a sex worker. Yeah. This is, I mean, society told us these things. Mm -hmm. The fact that you are making this possible for young children across this country is, is huge. And just by being yourself, by, be, by being representative, I think that's, I mean, are you aware <laughs> when you wake up in the morning that this is what you're doing, that you're changing the fabric of our society? Oh, she's making me cry. <laughs> You need to give me a trigger warning, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I did believe all these things, you know, as a kid. I did believe that we didn't, as I said in the start, um, I didn't believe we deserved respect. I didn't believe we did deserve dignified jobs. Or we could be productive members of society. Or I could be this articulate sitting next to one of the biggest journalists in the country and having this conversation. I didn't believe it. And then I had to make myself believe it. Because nobody else was doing it for me. Mm. As you said, there was nobody I could look up to in the performing arts and say, but that's what I want to do and, and live a respectful life. And I think that when, when a kid watches me and they, shit, and they believe that it's okay to live the, the life they want to. For me, I think I wouldn't have asked for anything else. And I just think that uh, I've received messages like that. Like, we want to live. No. I tried to stop with <laughs> tears. Who? These, and, and these tears of achievement that. and joy because... Yeah, and I'm just, I don't know what to do and what to say because I just went with my heart. And I know that they didn't have a faith in their lives. Mm or they didn't have the support. But I also do know that I can be that for them. So here she is. <laughs> Woo, Long my pins are going off and I'm <laughs> crying, I'm a hot mess. Long live Ooh. the queen. Yes. <laughs>